this is a reading for Virgo. Um, it's manifesting the law of attraction, so we'll see what's going on with that. First, I'm going to draw two cards, and then we'll get to your reading, find out the meaning of these cards, and we'll see what's going on. All right, so we have express yourself. You've been blending in for far too long. You are more ready to strut your stuff and express your artistic drive, uh, Picasso bug. And then we have face your fears. Um, night holds many mysteries, but fear not when you hear the fluttering of a bat's wings against the evening sky. For bats will protect you from pesky biting bugs. We have the bats. Okay, the vibration which you're emulating. We have, do not be tempted to lower your standards. We have spiritual thief. We have somebody here that's trying to pull a fancy on you. I don't like fancy. I only like the real thing. You know how I do. Um, so you might be dealing with somebody who is trying to pull you in their direction. Because you have something that they want. Uh, let's see. Find out what people's emotions are. And what their motivations are. Like, sometimes it's hard to figure out what people's motives are, but sometimes they're very clear. Um, so something you need to be more open to receiving. Um, great worry over nothing. We have um, psychodelia. Maybe dealing with some shrooms or some acid or something. Um, you might just need to mellow out and just go into like a creative motion. You don't have to use drugs to be creative, but um, you might have to just relax so you can get into that mode of like unlocking your brain to like messages and signals that it may be giving you because maybe you've been ignoring it for too long. Or you might need to eat better, um, whatever the case is. Um, it's good to change a little bit, you know. Not too much, just enough. Um, so, what will come when you are more open to this? Um, a meeting with a stranger could be important. We have the gauntlet. Uh, we have somebody that you may be in contest with later on, so. Or you got down the gauntlet. Alright. Alright, the next step to, you have to take is going to be a leap of faith. So unset settling times, need to plan ahead. We have executive decision. All right, so there's, there's something that you need to kind of look at and be mindful of. Okay, how can you manifest even more successfully? We have plenty of material things. We have barrel. Um, you might actually want to um, start a distillery or a winery or make your own bourbon, whiskey, vodka, I guess. Some type of drink that you like drinking. Um, try to get like, I guess, sponsors, um, sponsorship for a thing that you like um, so that it draws more money or a royalty or something so that you're always like having money. Um, maybe you like being in that category of just having money. You don't really need too much of anything. You just like having money just in case. But whatever the case is, you need to kind of have something as a resource to help you with your money situation. Okay? Alright, we have a message from your higher self, source energy, or spirit guide. We have January Vixen Tower. We have the number 4747. As an angel number, you might want to check the angel numbers. It does have a message there that could be important, or it could help you with a issue you've been having. Usually, angel numbers have a weird way of telling you what it, what exactly you need to hear. Um, anyway, Virgo, hopefully this helped you. Um, it's a little different reading. I had a lot of numbers come through when I was channeling. Um, as hard as it is to channel with like a million things on your mind somehow or another I do it so anyway I will see you in the next reading you take care of yourself take care of everyone and I will see you in the next reading all right later